the quarterback, Jared Goff, will be a top blank quarterback this year in the whole NFL. Top how many, Sean? I'll say 10. I'll, I'll 10. say top 10. I, I, I can't go any higher than that. That top is 10. very impressive. Here's what I struggle with with Jared Goff. We're talking to, not NFC, right? NFL? Top 10? Top 10. Here's, yep. here's where I struggle with Jared Goff in, in terms of my heart and my head. The dude only threw seven picks last year. Mm-hmm. 29 touchdowns, seven picks. That is an incredible touchdown to interception ratio. He Not went fumbles, what, 350 either. plus passes without throwing an interception. For a guy that was a turnover machine yep. for a few years before that. A fumbling machine. I think he too. fumbled, what, three or four times the entire season. Yeah, not mm-hmm. towards the end of the year. Either. And none in the final 10 weeks of the season. Man, can you recreate that? Can he really recreate that? Could he go 35 touchdowns and 12 interceptions would that you know would you rather 35 and 12 or 29 and 7 can he repeat that year is what i'm saying and i guess i'm gonna go with what my heart tells me and say yes the offensive line is better the weapons are better another year in ben johnson's system i think he's coming into his prime i think each and every Step of the way where Jared Goff has been at every level of his playing career in college, in the NFL, he has been undersold. The Rams threw him away. Everybody here in Detroit was throwing him away. The minute he got traded here, I think Goff is primed for a huge season. So I will say he will also have a top 10 year.